Hello students, how are you all? I hope you all are fine. Today we'll see standard six subject science. In that chapter number three, fiber to fabric. In the previous video part one, we have seen up to main five. Today we'll see main six. Answer the following questions in short. Two marks each. Each question carries two marks. See the question number one. What do you mean by natural fibers? State it types. State its types with example. Answer is fibers that are obtained from plants and animals are called natural fibers. There are two types of natural fibers. Number one, plant fibers, example cotton and jute. Number two, animal fibers, example wool and silk. Now see the next page. Question number two. How is jute obtained from jute plant? Answer is. Jute plant is cultivated during the rainy season and is harvested when it is at flowering stage. The stem of the harvested plant is immersed in water for a few days. The stems rot and the fibers are separated by hand. These fibers are collected and dried. Question number 3. What are the uses of silk fibers and wool fibers? Answer is Silk fibers are used to make silk cloth. Silk cloth is used for making costly saris, kurtas, scarves, ties, etc. Wool fiber is used for making sweater, cap, muffler, sol, socks, gloves, etc. See the question number 4. What are the uses of jute fibers and cotton fibers? Answer is jute cloth is made from jute fibers. This cloth is used in making gunny bags and carry bags. It is, it is used for making doormats, rope, mats, etc. Coconut fibers are used for making ropes, mats, doormats and charpoy. Now see main 7. Give two points of difference. Distinguish between. It carries two marks each. Number 1. Distinguish between cotton fibers and jute fibers. Point 1 is cotton fiber is obtained from the fruit of cotton plant and in jute plant, jute fiber, jute fiber is obtained from the stem of the jute plant. Point 2, cotton fiber, it is used for filling mattress, pillow and making cotton cloth and jute fiber, it is used for making guni bags, ropes, mats and doormats. Now see the next page. Now see the number 2, distinguish between spinning and weaving. Point 1 in spinning. Spinning is the process of making yarn from fibers. And point 1 in weaving. Weaving is the process of making cloth from yarn. Number 2, hand spindle and charkha are used for spinning. And in weaving, loom is used for weaving. Now see the main 8, classify the following fibers as natural or synthetic. It carries 4 marks. First of all, we will see the fibers, nylon, wool, cotton, acrylic, silk, polyester, jute and terrine. Now see the natural fibers are wool, cotton, silk and jute and synthetic fibers are nylon, acrylic, polyester and terrine. Now see the main nine. Match the following. Write the alphabet from section B in the answer. It carries two marks. First of all, we will see the uh, section A. Number 1, cotton. 2, silk. Number 3, wool. And number 4, jute. And section B, A, sweater. B, towel. C, costly sari. D, rope. And E, sack. Number 1, cotton match with the B, towel. Silk match with the C, costly sari. 3, wool match with the sweater. And 4th one, jute match with the sack. Now see main 10. Answer the following questions in details. It carries three marks each. Number one. How is fabric woven from yarn? Answer is cloth is woven from yarn using either power operated looms or hand operated looms. Yarns are arranged close to each other in straight lines on a loom. And then another set of yarn is passed to form a criss cross pattern. In this way, cloth is obtained by two sets of yarn. This process is called weaving. The method in which a single yarn is used is called knitting. Thus, weaving and knitting methods are used for making fabric from yarn. Now see 
the question number 2 describe the process of making yarn from fiber answer is the process of making yarn from fiber is called spinning in this process fibers form from a mass of cotton are drawn out and twisted this brings the fibers together to form a yarn simple devices used for spinning are hand spindle tuckli and charkha now see the activities number 1 to understand that each yarn of the cloth is made up of fibers apparatus and materials are cotton cloth procedure take out a yarn from a piece of cotton fiber fabric place this yarn on the table press one end of the yarn with your thumb scratch the other end of the yarn along its length with your nail now observe the other end carefully observation is the yarn splits up into thin strands at the stretched end conclusion is that each yarn of the cloth is made up of fibers now see the number 2 to make yarn from cotton fibers apparatus and materials are cotton procedure hold some cotton wool in one hand grip some cotton between the thumb and forefinger of the other hand gently start pulling out the cotton while continuously twisting the fibers observation is fibers spin together and form a strong yarn conclusion is yarn is made from cotton fibers now we will see the next chapter in the next video stay safe stay healthy okay bye